morning all my dear viewers of class 9 NCRT syllabus. We have been doing chapter 4 climate and we have come to know that what is mechanism of monsoon and how the monsoon comes. And now we have to deal with what are the uncertainties. We find that sometimes the monsoon is very heavy, sometimes it is very less, sometimes it is delayed, sometimes it is early. So, what are, are the different factors which are behind this mechanism of monsoon working towards it and therefore, we come to this first point which is the differential heating and cooling of land and water. So, we are dealing with different factors which affect the monsoons. Differential heating because here we have sea, India is surrounded by Indian Ocean from all the three sides and we have land in the center. We need to have a high pressure in the sea and the low pressure in the land then only the winds will blow from the sea towards the land. And when the winds will be from over the oceans, then only they will shed moisture, they will bring rainfall. Both of them have a differential pattern of heating and cooling. The land gets intensely heated, it is denser body. When the heat falls on a water body, it spreads and therefore, it takes longer time for a water body to either heat up or either become cold. They have this difference between the heating and the cooling of land and water makes the pressure conditions different. Second is the shift of ITCZ, children this is the first uh, time this term has been introduced in your syllabus. ITCZ means intertropical convergence zone, inter means from both the sides, both the sides. Now, we will deal with this children, look at look here, this is 0 degree equator and this is above the equator and this is below the equator right south of equator. So, from both the hemispheres intertropical the tropical areas till 23 degree north and 23 degree south this comes between the intertropical both the tropical areas there the winds converge in this zone. Winds coming because this is a this is colder this is hot. So, the winds come and converge here the winds from land to sea or you can say from the colder areas to the hot area because this belt is the hottest most during most of the part of the year while the earth is revolving around the sun. So, from both the sides the winds come to this area between 5 degree north and 5 degree south because this is very hot and here the winds come and converge they meet each other. When they meet each other, they again become very hot and the hot winds go upward. So, they move upward to a degree where the temperature is colder, where the temperature is colder there again it becomes heavy and again it settles down in this portions. So, this way the movement of the wind from high pressure to low pressure, again in the low pressure it moves upwards in the atmosphere, gets cooled down, again it comes back. This kind of revolution between the winds from both the hemisphere keeps on going in a normal situation. These are called the trade winds. So, this winds when it is moving, they are converging in this zone. This means that the move wind is moving from land to sea in normal circumstances when the earth is revolving around the sun, when it is in the month of March or in the month of uh, December or in the month of September, we find that the winds move from the Tropic of Cancer towards the ITCZ. This is this area is called intertropical convergence zone. Now, this zone shifts it, it does not remain here throughout the year because of the revolution of the earth around the sun. Look at this diagram. Okay. By the month of June what happens? This huge belt the direct rays of the sun fall towards the northern hemisphere, it shift towards the northern hemisphere where India lies. So, what happens is ITCZ, this belt shift towards the Ganga plain here. Now, this belt, the winds converge over here. So, the winds crosses the ocean and they move from the ocean towards the land. So, this is an important factor which influences the monsoon, this is what which reverses the movement of the winds from the land to the sea to sea to land and that is how we get the rays. So, intertropical convergence zone shifts 
from 5 degree north and 5 degree south towards the Ganga plain about 30 to 35 degrees north and because of which the convergence zone shifts northwards and this keeps happening as, as the earth revolves around the sun. By the month of June this is the position again by the month of by the month of September this zone will shift towards here again towards by December this zone will shift to the southern hemisphere. So, in this way the shift of this heat belt keeps taking place between the northern and the southern hemispheres and this is called the ITCZ intertropical convergence zone the winds are converging from both the zones. Third is the low pressure in the Tibetan plateau another important factor which affects the monsoons of India this is the Tibetan plateau when the heat belt shifts towards the north this also becomes very heated and vertical winds start moving at a very high speed and then about 9 kilometers of area in the atmosphere becomes a highly low pressure area. So, this low pressure intensifies during the summer seasons from, by, from March to June this area becomes very hot, hot and that is why these winds are attracted towards India. Fourth is high pressure in the Madagascar. Not only it is important to have a low pressure in India, it is also important that the southern oceans have a high pressure. So, when the heat belt has shifted towards the north, then naturally the southern portions have become colder. Now, with the help of a globe you want to see, you see here, this is Madagascar island. So, when the heat belt shifts towards the north, this area becomes very cold and it is very important that the area towards the east of Madagascar becomes very cold and develops a high pressure area so that the winds are attracted towards the low pressure area. They crosses the equator and they move towards India because the convergence zone has shifted towards the northern part of India. So, this is the explanation for your fourth point. Now, moving towards the fifth point which says shift of westerly jet streams. We all have known in from the previous video that the jet streams which are very high speed winds blowing from over the Mediterranean Sea comes to India and they keep on blowing throughout the year towards the south of India. But when this Tibetan plateau gets very much heated during the months of the summers during the June July months, the, these winds they also leave India because they have been bringing some cooling effect in the Indian mainland. But these winds when they are moving from India uh, from the uh, Mediterranean Sea they get attracted towards this low pressure area. So, they also leave India's side and then they move towards. So, the cooling effect which we, we were getting from the westerly jet stream that also we do not have and that is very important for a low pressure area to be developed in the northern part of India. This helps to intensify the low pressure conditions. Next is the southern oscillation and El Nino. These two terms are also important because details is about the movement of the winds in the southern oceans. This is Indian Ocean below India, this complete is Indian Ocean, and this is the Eastern Pacific Ocean. So, the in the southern parts of both the oceans, the southern oscillation because winds move from here to here and here to here between Indian Ocean and between the Pacific Ocean. And this movement of the wind is usually from one side, but once in 2 to 3 years the movement changes the pressure conditions, the low pressure and the high pressure conditions they changes and the winds reverses. So, this also affects Indian monsoon. The year when the pressure condition will change that year India will have less monsoons because here also it will be low pressure here also it will be low pressure. So, winds may not get attracted and therefore, the winds will not blow from the sea to the land. Another one is the El Nino. El Nino is a term given to we come to South America okay? here. 
from South America, this is a Peru country, from here a cold current passes by throughout the year, but once in a while, once in 2 to 5 years, this cold current is replaced by a warm current. So, during that particular year, year this also becomes a high pressure area. So, this also affects Indian monsoons. because you need to have a high pressure in the oceans throughout the monsoon season. And when the El Nino effect comes, what happens that here there is a low pressure. So, southern ocean is also having low pressure and Indian part of the continent is also having the low pressure. So, winds may not get attracted, it influences. and we sometimes say you must have heard in news and all that this year the monsoons will be late, this year the monsoons will not be good because of the effect of El Nino. So, that is the effect of El Nino. When the El Nino effect comes during that year, the low pressure becomes the southern ocean, we experience low pressure near this Peru country and therefore, we do not get good monsoons because the winds are not attracted. So, that is the explanation towards different aspects of monsoon. This is supposed to be the most difficult part of the chapter, rest of the things are very easy and uh, if you have any doubts, do write in my comment section and do like, share and subscribe and thanks for watching. Bye.